and uh, this green dome to my right this symbolizes where the grave of the Prophet is and uh, at the time of the Prophet وسلم, it was a very simple mosque it was built uh, from the palm trees the palm trees or the trunks they were uh, the pillars of the masjid and uh, it had only three doors does anyone know which ones they are? Bab Salam, which still exists today Bab Jibreel which is on the other side okay completely the other side and then next to it is Bab and Nisa there was a special door only for women for Bab and Nisa and uh, when the Prophet وسلم, he built this door he said this door is for the women and none of the companions after that entered or exited from this place so this shows that there was some sort of segregation even at the time of the Prophet وسلم, where women had their own places to pray women had their own uh, places to learn and study and they were separated to, uh, from the men and the Prophet وسلم, he encouraged the Muslims the companions that when they pray that they stay behind so that they can do the adhkar and that the front row is the most virtuous row for the Muslims and the last row for the women is the most uh, blessed and, and of virtue uh, so this this is well, this was the start uh, after some time around 10 years after the Prophet وسلم, himself he expanded the masjid and after the Prophet وسلم, was the time of Abu Bakr as Siddiq there was no expansion at his time at the time of Umar radiallahu anhu also there was an expansion and at the time of Uthman radiallahu anhu there was a major expansion so it was the biggest at the time of the Khulafa at the time of Uthman radiallahu anhu especially that there was more money to be invested uh, in the mosque now there's a sp specific ruling about uh, graves uh, as we know the Prophet وسلم, he encouraged us to visit the graves and the reason for that is so that it can remind us of Allah it can remind us of the afterlife it can remind us of our final destination so that we can work harder for the sake of Allah and leave the sins and do more good deeds uh, so it's from the Sunnah that when we visit the Prophet's mosque that we send Salam on the Prophet وسلم, and the two companions next to him Abu Bakr and Umar and uh, as the Prophet وسلم, he mentioned that my uh, that prayers in my mosque i.e. Masjid al-Nabawi is 1000 times better than any other mosque except Masjid al-Haram in Mecca.